Hello all, welcome back. In the previous couple of lectures, we were discussing about unit hydrograph, direct run of hydrograph and also S hydrograph. So, here in this lecture what we are going to discuss is that how to derive unit hydrographs having different durations. In the previous lectures we have seen how to derive direct run of hydrograph from a unit hydrograph or from the direct run of hydrograph how to derive the unit hydrograph based on the principle of superposition and also proportionality. But always we will not be having the unit hydrograph having the required duration because our rainfall will be having varying durations. So, in such cases with a available unit hydrograph how can we derive a unit hydrograph with different duration that is what we are going to discuss today. Unit hydrograph of different rainfall durations. A unit hydrograph of DR duration can be applied to effective rainfall of DR duration for deriving the direct run of hydrograph. That is by making use of the principle of proportionality if you are having a DR unit hydrograph we can produce the direct run of hydrograph having the same duration. Now given a DR unit hydrograph the unit hydrographs of other duration that other duration I am specifying again it can be represented by NDRs it can be derived that is we are having a DR unit hydrograph our aim is to derive another unit hydrograph which is having a duration N times DRs. So, we are going to derive NDR unit hydrograph from DR unit hydrograph. So, it can be done in two ways by means of principles of superposition and proportionality and also by means of S hydrograph method. By now you are familiar with principle of superposition and proportionality and also S hydrograph technique. In the previous lecture we have discussed about the derivation of S hydrograph if we are having a unit hydrograph of DR duration. The same thing can be utilized for deriving NDR unit hydrograph. Let us look into that. First one that is by means of principle of superposition and proportionality. This method can be utilized if other durations are integral multiples of given duration. We are having DR duration of unit hydrograph. If we want to derive NDR unit hydrograph in which N is an integer, N is an integral multiple, ND is the integral multiple of DR duration. In such cases we can make use of the linear system theory such as the principles from linear system theory such as principle of superposition and proportionality. This is applicable only if n is an integer but it can happen in such a way that we are having 2 hours unit hydrograph. We are in need of 3 hours unit hydrograph because our effective rainfall is having a duration of 3 hours. The unit hydrograph which is available to us is of 2 hours which is produced from an effective rainfall of duration 2 hours. But here the catchment is experiencing a rainfall of duration 3 hours then how can we derive the 3 hour unit hydrograph from this 2 hour unit hydrograph that is in that case n is not an integral multiple of the known duration. In that case we can make use of S hydrograph method. Unit hydrographs of any required duration can be derived using S hydrograph technique. N can be an integer or a fraction that is 2 hour unit hydrograph is there with us we need to derive 3 hours. So, N is 1.5 times the known duration. So, in such cases we can make use of S hydrograph technique. So, two techniques we can make use for deriving the unit hydrographs of different durations. In the first case that is by means of principle of proportionality and superposition n should be an integer but if you are making use of S hydrograph technique n can be an integer or fraction. 
first we will start with the method of superposition linear system theory how to derive unit hydrograph of different rainfall duration using method of superposition. We are having a DR unit hydrograph. DR unit hydrograph is available to us. We need to derive ND our unit hydrograph. This is our effective rainfall which is having a duration of D hours and the intensity of rainfall is 1 by D centimeters per hour. That is 1 centimeter rainfall is uniformly occurred on the catchment for a duration of D hours. So, the intensity will be 1 by D centimeters per hour. It will be producing a unit hydrograph which can be represented by this. This is the DR unit hydrograph. We need to derive ND our unit hydrograph. N is an integer. Let us look into different steps involved in this. N different DR unit hydrographs will be placed one after the other with a shift of DRs. Same principle as we have used in the case of S hydrograph. In the case of S hydrograph, it was experiencing an effective rainfall for an infinite period. But in this case, the period is not infinite. We will be limiting it to certain time period which is represented by ND. Here we can see this with the help of a figure which is produced by using two pulses, two effective rainfall pulses. So, if you are having a, an effective rainfall having the same intensity or same effective rainfall depth for DR duration is acting on the catchment, then it will be producing a direct runoff from the catchment that can be represented by means of this DR unit hydrograph. But it is produced after a time of D hours, it can be called as DR lagged unit hydrograph. That is the effective rainfall pulse is acted on the catchment after D hours. It will be producing a response after D hours only. That is why we are calling it as a DR lagged unit hydrograph. So, DR unit hydrograph results from 1 centimeter of effective rainfall starting at t is equal to 0 and next DR unit hydrograph results from 1 centimeter of effective rainfall again starting at d hours later. It is not starting at time t is equal to 0, it is starting at time t is equal to d hours. Now what we are going to do, we are going to superimpose these hydrograph. In our case, we need to derive ND our unit hydrograph. So, we will be having different unit hydrograph one after the other with a lag of DRs. Then we will be superimposing N different DR unit hydrographs. It will be producing direct runoff hydrograph from N centimeters of effective rainfall occurring in NDR duration. One unit hydrograph is from 1 centimeter. 2 unit hydrographs from 2 centimeters of rainfall. So, in the case of NDR effective rainfall pulses if we are considering it is producing a direct run of hydrograph from n centimeters of rainfall. So, if you are having a direct run of hydrograph from n centimeters of rainfall for a duration of NDRs we can derive the unit hydrograph having a duration of n d hours by making the principle of proportionality. That is we just have to divide the ordinates of the direct run of hydrograph which is produced by superimposing n number of unit hydrograph by the effective rainfall depth that is n centimeters. So, in this figure the combined response can be obtained by summing up the ordinates of these two unit hydrographs. So, that can be represented by means of this green curve that is our direct runoff hydrograph. In this case, we are having two pulses. While generalizing, it can be extended up to n number of pulses. So, NDR unit hydrograph can be derived by dividing the above DRH by N that is we are making use of the principle of proportionality. 
Here in this case, if we are deriving the unit hydrograph, we will be dividing the ordinates of this direct run of hydrograph by 2 centimeters of rainfall. So, this blue color unit hydrograph is representing the 2D earth unit hydrograph. The same principle can be used for deriving the unit hydrograph having ND hours. In that case, one thing should be noticed, N should be an integer. Now, let us move on to the case with N as a fraction. Unit hydrograph of different rainfall durations using S hydrograph principle. What is meant by S hydrograph is clear to you. So, now we can make use of the S hydrograph principle for the derivation of ND hour unit hydrograph. We have been given a DR unit hydrograph. We need to derive an NDR unit hydrograph. In this case, that is in the case of S hydrograph method, this N can be an integer or a fraction. Let us look into different steps involved in this. First, what we are doing? We are going to construct S hydrograph from the given DR unit hydrograph that can be represented by SA, SA is G of T that is by making use of the principle of derivation of your S hydrograph, we can derive the S hydrograph from the given unit hydrograph of DR duration, let it be SA. Let me plot that, we are plotting the S hydrograph from the given unit hydrograph, run off in meter cube per second along the y axis and time in hours along the x axis. So, the S hydrograph is produced from a storm having an intensity of 1 by d centimeters per hour which is acting on the catchment indefinitely. So, that is what is marked over here, effective rainfall intensity 1 by d centimeters per hour, it will be producing a S hydrograph or S curve which is represented by SA. SA represents the direct run of hydrograph subjected to an effective rainfall intensity of 1 by d centimeters per hour starting at time t is equal to 0 and continuing indefinitely. Now, what we are going to do in the second step we will lag this S hydrograph with the required duration that is this S hydrograph is lagged by T hours that is termed as offset hydrograph, we can call it as SB. SB is nothing but G T minus T that is the derived S hydrograph SA which we have derived based on the given unit hydrograph is lagged by a time duration of T hours. T hours is nothing but the duration of the required unit hydrograph. So, SA which we have produced will be lagged with a duration of T hours that is termed as offset hydrograph SB. After that, what we will be doing? Offset the position of the first hydrograph that is SA by a period equal to the desired duration of unit hydrograph that is T hours. We need to derive the unit hydrograph having T hours duration from the given unit hydrograph which was having DR duration. So, this SA will be lagged by a duration of T hours. So, that SB, SB is produced by means of the same intensity of rainfall which has started at time T is equal to capital T hours. It is not started at time t is equal to 0 hours, we are lagging the input by a time period of t hours. So, that is producing that step input or the effective rainfall input which is having 1 by d centimeters per hour of intensity will be producing another S hydrograph which is produced after a time period of t hours. So, if we are plotting it, we can plot it like this that is SP represents the direct run of hydrograph to an effective rainfall intensity of 1 by d centimeters per hour starting at time t is equal to t and continuing indefinitely. It is very simple what we are doing 
from the given unit hydrograph we are producing a s hydrograph that is s a and s a is lagged by means of a time period of t hours which is the required time period and we are plotting the same s hydrograph again that is s b. So, what we have done we have plotted two s hydrograph one with a delay or lag of capital T hours. Now, what we are going to do we are going to take the difference between the ordinates of S A and S B. S A minus S B will be represented by this. What is S A minus S B? That S A minus S B is G T minus G T minus capital T. So, you look at the figure you can understand that S A minus S B is nothing but the response due to this effective rainfall pulse which is acting for a duration of T hours. Effective rainfall of intensity 1 by D centimeters per hour acting for a duration of capital T hours that is represented by S A minus S B. S A is the response from the catchment when it is acted upon by a, an effective rainfall having an intensity 1 by d centimeters per hour acting for an indefinite period. And S B is the response from the catchment from an effective rainfall of 1 by d centimeters per hour which has started with a delay of capital T hours but it also continues indefinitely. So, if you are finding out the difference between S A and S B that will be representing the response of the catchment for an effective rainfall of 1 by d centimeters per hour which was acting on the catchment for a duration of capital T hours. So, what will be the depth of rainfall corresponding to that period time period T? It will be 1 by d centimeters per hour multiplied by capital T that is T by d centimeters. So, what we can conclude here this S A minus S B is representing the direct run of hydrograph resulting from an effective rainfall of intensity 1 by d centimeters per hour occurring for T hours. So, the corresponding depth of rainfall will be 1 by d multiplied by T that is T by d centimeters effective rainfall is T by d centimeters that is S A minus S B is representing the direct run of hydrograph resulting from an effective rainfall of T by D centimeters occurring for T hours. Now, we are having the direct run of hydrograph which is produced due to a rainfall of T by D centimeters of depth. If direct run of hydrograph is the, the effective rainfall is the we can find out the corresponding unit hydrograph by making use of the principle of proportionality that is what we are going to do. So, here this we have seen already S A is the developed S hydrograph, S B is the same unit hydrograph lagged by T hours and S A minus S B we have found out that is the D R H from an effective rainfall of T by D centimeters. So, we can derive T R unit hydrograph by using the principle of proportionality that is what we are going to do u of t is nothing but S A minus S B divided by T by D because S A minus S B is the response of the catchment from an effective rainfall of T by D centimeters acting for a duration of T hours. So, we need to get the unit hydrograph for which 1 centimeter of rainfall is acted on the catchment for T hours. So, from the direct run of hydrograph we can derive the unit hydrograph having the same duration by making use of the principle of proportionality that is what we have done here S A minus S B divided by the effective rainfall pulse that is nothing but T by D centimeters it will be producing the unit hydrograph having the duration of capital T hours. We are having an effective rainfall having an intensity of 1 by d centimeters per hour for a duration of capital T hours. The response from this effective rainfall can be plotted by means of a unit hydrograph 
of duration capital T. So, this is the one which is obtained by using S A minus S B divided by T by D. So, here in the S hydrograph method what we are doing from the given unit hydrograph we will be producing the step hydrograph and once the step hydrograph is produced we will lack the step hydrograph by means of the required duration. After lagging it by the required duration we will be finding out the difference between these two and it will be divided by T by D. T is the required duration and capital D is the given duration that will be producing the unit hydrograph having a duration of capital T hours. So, these are the two methods which can be utilized for producing unit hydrographs of different durations. One is by making use of the principle of superposition. In that case, if you are going to produce NDR unit hydrograph, N should be an integer. But in majority of the cases, N may not be an integer. N can be a fraction. Just like we are having 2 hour unit hydrograph, we may have to derive 5 hours unit hydrograph. In that case, method of superposition technique cannot be utilized. We have to go for S hydrograph method. S hydrograph method is applicable to the cases with n is an integer and also fraction. These are the references related to this particular topic. Here I am winding up this lecture. Thank you.